vloga, face and over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Hi ninjas, how are you doing? It's your girl, oh, I'm Nish Majoru, aka Miss Fair for Cold Point of Black. For our entertainment, if it's the first time joining me on this journey, welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell so that you do not miss a single episode. Now I've been seeing you guys' these messages. You've been complaining that Gogo Manzini, where is she? What's going on, guys? I know it's Tuesday, but none for Gogo Manzini, guys. Hello. <laughs> with our favorite Gogo on the show. You know, the, like videos, they've been asking, mm. what's happening with your episodes with Gogo Manzini? I see. And everything. Mm, I see. And as much as we wanted, we want consistency. Mm. But we always have that something that always happens in between, in between, in between. But yeah, we will try our best to deliver in time. To deliver in time. Yes. And we also have a big announcement for you guys. <laughs> It's gonna be much. I don't know much Manzini. Oh, mm, much Manzini. Much go Manzini. Oh, but much Manzini. Mm. I feel like much Manzini actually is more fun. So what's going to happen is we sat down with Gogo Manzini and we were like, how can we actually make it up? Cause I know we've missed so many episodes since January. Mm. Yeah. So much Manzini, guys, for you guys to actually just you know forgive us and come back to the show the way you should. We're gonna be releasing two episodes a week, and that is going to be every Tuesday. And every Friday, yeah. so for March, from Only. the first of March, we're gonna be having two episodes, um, every Tuesday and every Friday. So I'm super excited for this. I hope that the promise that we're making, we're gonna be able to keep mm, <laughs> and mm. not miss a single Tuesday or, or, or Friday. But yeah, because I just feel like we have so much that we wanted to talk about and we've missed so much. I saw someone actually asking to say, oh, I mean, I, your podcast is it only about Ubusangom? Guys, this is a segment on the show. Yeah, but your, your, your podcast has got nothing to do with Ubusangom. You, it, it's a okay, I think I can, let me explain to that person. Okay. I didn't even see that comment. Mm. Boldly there's Owami Entertainment. Yeah, there was there's, one Owami Entertainment. Uh, okay, Owami Entertainment, you talk about everything entertainment. Thank you. And then you gave Gogo Manzini a segment yes. on the channel. Yes. So it's like SABC One, and then there's the news, channel, and then there's. Yeah. So there's different aspects because I know you may have been trying to be a hater, but you did give us an opportunity mm. to actually just quite explain. So, mm. um, yeah. Conversations with Gogo Manzin is just a segment on the show that only comes every Friday. Um, but because we've missed so many days, we've decided now that it, things have settled a bit, we'll be able to just give you guys two episodes only for the month of March. So it's March Manzini. Yeah, so people must also understand that this is a channel. Yay. So you are going to have... Different. And, uh, yes. Who knows? Maybe next day we'll be talking... Uh, yeah, no, maybe next day you'll have a segment with prostitutes. <laughs> It's life. It's what it happens. Is. It's things that are happening. Exactly. And then maybe on Friday it's going to be Gogo Manzini. Thursday it's going to be Pasta Zwizwi. Thank you. It's possible. It's possible. Yes. But anyway, today, welcome back, by the way. Thank you so much for having me. I am so tired. I, I am imagine. so tired. Even my eyes are like, you know what, but I'm working hard. And you know what, just after filming in this, mm -hmm. I'm flying to Ghana. When, when are you flying to, flying to Ghana, Ghana? After filming this. You're leaving? Yes. Imagine. Now, today, on this Tuesday, right after this, I have to fly. As tired as I am, it has to go. I'm going to sleep on the flight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sleep on the flight so that I can talk about better. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. But how was the cleansing um, in Joburg? It was fine. Mm -hmm. It was just good. Mm -hmm. It also got me tired. Yeah. But people came, and we appreciate people that comes. We just wait for 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 results you know mm -hmm. it is what goes but everything was just perfectly beautiful but it's going to be more dangerous now when i come back from ghana it is going to be more you know what i'm gonna do let me tell you what i'm gonna do for your ninjas okay your ninjas call me ninja also eh? because <laughs> you are a 
subscribe. You know, you know when they WhatsApp me? You subscribe. When they want to hi Ninja Manzini. I know. <laughs> I'm telling you. No. Yes, hi Ninja Manzini. I was like, okay, you are very nice. <laughs> so now, when, where, was, where was I? You wanted to say, what are you going to do for the ninjas? Okay, yes. Okay. What I think I'm going to do, I want them to know what I do behind, um, outside of here. Okay. Outside of just sitting here looking nice, talking. So I think they need to see me when my nails are off. In your head. Hair is just out. So I'm going to literally ask my husband because okay. now, I mean, I travel with my husband. I work with my husband. I'm not a Sangoma that teaches people Lubu Sangoma and things like that mm -hmm. because I feel like I, as a person as well, mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. Okay. So for me to train other people, I must be very perfect. Mm -hmm. Because you must remember now in this South Africa, mm -hmm. we've got about a million initiates. Mm -hmm. Nine, um, 999,000 of them are broke. But they are Sangomas. You know why? They never got proper training. So I don't want to start saying I'm going to train people at my busy stage. I'm busy. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm working with my husband all the time. Okay. So I'm going to ask him to film some sessions okay. when I'm, 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 I'm in Ghana. Mm -hmm. The things that we do now, mm -hmm. you know, when they get to see the work, mm -hmm. what we, we, when we talk about targeting, mm -hmm. so they must be work with dwarfs. I'm going to introduce them to you on camera. So we, we work with dwarfs. I buy them, I bring them perfumes every time I come to... Like that's the only thing that they want, they want perfumes, yeah. these dwarves. Mm. But they stay in the bushes. No, they don't stay in the bushes. They stay in that particular place, it's like next to the river. It's, um, it's just a place there next to the river. So you know the river, that o uh, there's a stone was that opens up at night. So in Ghana? Th that is where they stay, yeah. That is where. So I'm definitely going to try to get all those uh, cleats. Uh, are you things. allowed though to actually to take? Uh, to, yeah. yeah, yeah, they love it. Huh. They actually love it when they you. They love film. the camera and they love it. Which exactly. They love to <laughs> uh, I bought them a few expensive ones. <laughs> So you give them and then they work. So those people now, they've got certain powers, but we will talk about them some other time. Okay. So we go, remember for us to give powers, mm -hmm. we need to get powers. So there's something that you don't have, that you, you need to go look for. As I said that traditional healing, Agu, you don't stop learning. Okay, yes. You don't stop getting power. You don't stop, apart from the ancestors, mm -hmm. the power they gave you, mm -hmm. you also need to go and add whatever you're going to add. Mm -hmm. Remember, you need to be able to have the power to kill. It's not everybody that can kill. So when are you going there, so that you can get... No, I'm not, I'm not going to tell anyone why I'm going there. <laughs> but you know when there's a, a... Do you know that there's a story when they say people in Ghana can command, when you, you can actually put the chicken there and say, die. And it dies. And, and it you dies. Point at it I, I don't know if you. Yes. I've heard stories. Yes. Like that. So they say, die, and then it dies. So that's certain power that the people need to get. Mm -hmm. you, you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So those are certain powers that you have, but only if your ancestors allow you or they direct you to that particular direction. So okay. So to me, that's my home. I'm there every year. So I'm there every year. So when you're there every year, does this mean that when they teach you, they teach you bit by bit? So this time you only go this same way for a certain particular set of powers. But before I can actually ask any question, because I know I'm going to forget, I want to ask, you said in order for you to get power, you need to give power. So which power are you? In getting? order for you to give power, you need to get power. Sorry. Okay. Before I give you, you need to I need to have it. received, yes. But when you go there to get... What are you giving there? That's Again. our secret. Shopela, it's, it's, it's the, join us. Are you going to film that? Be secret? one of us, <laughs> and then you'll know what happens. So, yeah. Mark, so if we want to know, we're going to go to that. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. So now, we, we just, they, I'm, I'm, okay, as I was saying, mm -hmm. I'm going to get a, 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 a clips there and there. Okay. Remember when, when I do, rituals for people. Mm -hmm. We don't slaughter animals. Okay. We don't kill animals. We don't do this and this Unless and that. Unless if it's now to bring exactly. people to churches. 
Yes. So, but then remember, oh, but even when slaughter. that we don't slaughter, you we bury, bury it, it alive. Okay. So, with my own rituals, mm -hmm. personal rituals, I slaughter. Oh. Okay. Yes. So, so, for me to get certain things that I need to get, yeah. I slaughter day. Okay. But here at home, I don't. People don't slaughter. Okay. For some reasons. Okay. You know, you're not stronger than like me. Okay. So I can face anything that comes. Okay. You don't have power to face anything that comes. So I'm going to have a few 15, um, 10 minutes clip. Okay. And then when I come back, I will ask you to, 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 to show them what I was doing there in Ghana. Back. Yes, it's going to be bad. It was bad, but it's going to be baddest when I come back. I just love when I'm going to Tagata. You know, and the more I'm able to Tagata more and more and more, it just... <laughs> Yes, I feel <laughs> like I'm in heaven. I, I can't, I'm seeing you with the facial expression. Yo, I can't wait to be there already. Right, let's get to the topic. Like, I mean, at this point, I don't even know how long this has been filming, honestly. Like, because obviously we've got a topic that we're going to be talking about. Um, I had a question, man, that I wanted to ask you. And then okay, you wanted, you, you, okay, just this one. Mm -hmm. You wanted to ask me what? I don't remember. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I wanted to say, guys, and before we can actually even, like, continue to anything, we do have to make an announcement. There's a person, guys, that went to Instagram. Oh, I forgot. And that me. person actually made an account, and that person uh, put uh, Gogo Manzini as, as their name. But that person has, like, 6,000 uh, followers. He did, or he or she uh, did buy followers. That's definitely for sure. However, I think, uh, I don't think that it's only you that this person has done this with. I think that what they do is that with the same account, they change names. Mm. And so right now, it means this person is definitely a Nunju, and they've seen that you're working with me. Um, and they went there to uh, change the names. And, uh, you know, Gogo Manzina has even gotten a screenshot of the person talking to uh, 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 someone saying that you know mm -hmm. this is the amount of money and 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 mm -hmm. now the problem is that uh if you guys go and pay there and then obviously go in doesn't know your order because your order was never pleased with her mm -hmm. then it will be that thing of oh she's a scammer oh she's doing this mm -hmm. it's not her you know and i need to also address this because now what happens is this person is using the same name but his name or her name has got a question mark at the end Okay. So that's I am Gogo Manzini. It, it's fine. But do you know that question mark? I didn't even see it. Okay, I saw it, it somewhere. So small. It looks yeah. Yes, and then they have my logo, the very same picture of a picture, and those people they have all my pictures, so they can just put and put and put. But they can't download videos. I don't know how, so they don't put videos. Say so they've got kids uh, and 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 all that. So what happened was there was a person from Namibia mm -hmm. that wanted to contact me. Mm -hmm. That person contacted me via inbox, uh, DM, mm -hmm. on that account, so they thought that account is mine. Okay. Exactly. So I don't know what happened when they were busy talking, and then that lady decided, but you know, this doesn't sound like mm -hmm. Manzini. And then she went back and got my numbers of WhatsApp, okay. and then she WhatsApped me. Mm -hmm. And then I said, no, no, I don't do that. I don't talk. I do not talk on, on Instagram with anybody. Okay. So if someone entertains you on Instagram, that's not me. Mm -hmm. If you need me to entertain you, it's my WhatsApp. Instagram, I just post for posting, post mm -hmm. for posting. But if I, I do not even talk business on Instagram, mm -hmm. no. So if, if you are, I just want this Instagram follow for fun. Mm -hmm. Don't follow to order or to do anything. Mm -hmm. If you want to order something, go to my WhatsApp and that's it. Because that number, they can't hack it. Mm -hmm. But, mind you, it's Puleng Tamana that is the owner of the account. Which account? Oh, the, 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 the bank account. It who? Uh, remember, they gave... Oh, yeah. That lady, they gave her the... Um, so Puleng, that's a woman. So yes. a woman and you know this has happened with um, another traditional healer um, who is... Uh, I don't know if I should say her name. Don't. But yeah, mm. you know, and she did the same uh, uh, way in she actually tracked the woman. I'm not going to track her. My spirit will track her. I wanted the name and God, I was so happy I got the name. It's Puleng Tamana. Wherever she is, I am so not stressing. But I just don't want people to. But now she just crossed the, the wrongest path of her life. You know, I did some rituals. I'm just happy, but I'm going to Ghana. I'm going to slaughter a sheep just for that person. 
for using my name. <laughs> you know she will come and confess on this channel? You better come. You I'm telling better, you, you. I am better. so much telling you. So on that note, guys, I'm not. I'm on. I'm. I'm, I'm on Instagram for fun. I'm not on Instagram to work. So if you want to contact me, Mina, people do come to me. Mm -hmm. I don't want. I don't marry. Mm -hmm. So I even go to the point where I said, now when people want to talk to me, they can ask for a video call. Mm -hmm. Just to say, go, go, can I just see the face? And then I yeah. say, hi, this is me. And then I, I, I go off. Okay, because that is fine. now how we, we, we're supposed to be working. Because and also, um, orders. Mm -hmm. There's people from outside of the country mm -hmm. that we send herbs to mm -hmm. we send they come back what do you mean because they say they can't allow herbs from one country oh, to another yes, country and all those things so um to everybody that are, are, are like from outside of the country i'm still trying to find a way to get the things to each and everybody of them but if you have someone that is in south africa mm -hmm. that can receive the parcel for you mm -hmm. and bring it to you maybe when they fly mm -hmm. that will also be better <coughs> so i do remember there was a time that i actually had to send um mbesu Okay, Mbesu. Mbesu is for. Danko, yes. you know, to someone. And yeah, it was quite a hassle. Um, at first, I had to send wet ingredients. Um, and then, you know, it was impossible. They needed some clarification forms and stuff. There was a, it was a long process. Mm. Um, and then they did say, or like, okay, we can receive the stuff and send. But the problem is that when they arrive that side, for them to have them pass it's usually very difficult they will return them and so the other way that i had to do was obviously have to <clears throat> um take the dry ingredients and the person had to boil them that side um and i also had to like do some declaration and stuff so i know <clears throat> sorry i don't know what they think maybe africans are trying to do it yeah but <laughs> also as we go we're going to talk about it as the months go yeah. june i'm going to uk Oh, okay. Definitely, I've got so much love from UK people. Mm -hmm. So, all of them, if you are from UK and there's something you want to order or anything like that, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask them to stop for now. Okay. Because I'm going to be coming to them in June. Okay. So, I'm going to ask you, if you're from UK, you want to consult, you want to do this and this and this and that, don't do it now because June I'm going to be coming there. Definitely. Do you already, do you already know um, which area of the UK you're going to be? No, I will let them know let as time goes, but I will definitely go. I'm going to be flying with my medicine. You are going to be? Yes. So, I think, you know, because at this point, like, we have been just clearing things up. We do have a topic that we were supposed to talk about, but I think maybe we might just as well start that topic up yeah, on the 1st of March. Okay. And then today, let's go ahead and just clarify all maybe the misunderstandings and the stuff that yes, I've been doing, yes. all the um, announcements yeah. that maybe can be there. Because yeah. like, at this point, let's just say like, we'll come back. Yeah, we'll let's just come back for the other episode. But as I said, I also just want to clarify these things. There are people that come to my DMs, guys, and they're like, Coco Manzini would like this and that, especially on TikTok. I don't know what's wrong with people on TikTok. Mm -mm. <laughs> and I'm like, guys. Obviously, she's Gogo Manzini. Her numbers are always here. Like, literally, if you come to me and say, can you please give me Gogo Manzini's numbers? I'm not entertaining you because it means you're just someone that doesn't watch. There's no day that we do not put a banner mm. that has your numbers, literally. Mm. Then, like, why would you leave a video? That's where you saw her. That's where you meet, met her. And then you come to me to say, can I have her numbers? But her numbers are literally on the banner. It's the same mm. numbers that I'm going to give you. And the, People that's are the ignorant. reason why I, I put the banner so that if you want to talk to her, you can go ahead and, you know, put uh, the banner on. Mm. <coughs> so now... Also, yeah, I think we, 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 we should save our topic for when I come back yes. for the first. Yes, for the so first. now, I just let me just talk about my trip okay, and, yes. and, and everything that's, that's there. Yes. yes. So now I'm going to be going and I'm going to come back very much bigger and very much stronger. Coming back on the 5th and then on the 6th, 7th, 8th, I'm not going to be working because I've got a launch on the 9th. Oh yes. yes, there's a launch on the 9th. I'm gonna be there. I'm super excited. You need to look proper. Ooh, I know you always that moment do. I need to get an outfit, guys. Didn't you it? need so to please look tell proper. us about the launch. Okay, so the launch is um um I'm launching my talent management agency. Yes. So the talent management agency, we house actors, 
models, singers, okay. dancers, entertainers okay. for the entertainment industry. And then, yeah, that's what we do. And then on the 9th, I'm going to be launching, but I'm going to talk better about it after that. I will just ask I'm for a segment as well. Yeah. Segment and segment and segment. <laughs> so my face is going to be there. So I will definitely ask for a segment where I will be talking about entertainment. Okay. Then there, I'm not going to be Coco Manzini. I'm going to be Tyra be... Sindani. Tyra, and then on Fridays, I'm going to be <laughs> Coco Manzini. Mm -hmm. So we are I'm super excited about Ghana. Mm -hmm. More power, more medicine, more everything. When we come back, we need to do a cleansing. For you? No. For who? For everyone? For people. Okay. Yeah, for people. But yeah. when, we, when we come back, we need to do a cleansing as fresh as the herbs will still be. Okay. So that cleansing, but it's only going to be for money makers, like gamblers, business people, prostitutes, forex traders, only we're not gonna be doing people that want some daughter on that day. But prostitutes they want my daughter. People prostitutes don't want my daughter, they want money oh, from Ama daughter. So when I come back, we will definitely have that thing. It's a story for another day. Mm -hmm. So more power most. So now I'm getting more and more powers. This thing is about stages and stages and stages and stages and going up. So, but I've seen that, okay, you go to Ghana and then you go to Nigeria as well. And then you go to Mozambique and, and then you go to Namibia. From these four countries that you just spoke of, mm. where would you say they have the strongest herbs? Everywhere. All of is them. just different herbs Because, different yeah, exactly. So now you need to know as a, um, as a traditional healer, you need to know your story. Mm -hmm. I get it when you, you are a shopper. Say, you know, when you want great shoes, you go to this shop. Mm -hmm. When you go to this shop, you know that you've got beautiful bras and strong bras and panties. Mm -hmm. So you know your story. You know mm -hmm. where you get what. So I'm going to say they are different. They are powerful in different ways. So if mm -hmm. I want Umutiwa, my daughter, then I know what I'm going to go with they. When okay. I go there, I'm going for love portions. I'm going for this and this and this and this. <coughs> and then when I go there, I go strictly for pastors and people that are for, for attraction. Mm -hmm. And then when I go there, I go straight for dangerous things. Car accidents. Creations. Wait, you're able to do, do create car accidents? Car accidents get created. Your car is parked outside. Right. You do something on the wheels of the car. You don't open the screws. No, no, no. Something spiritual. And then when the car leaves, where the car was parking, we take that soil. The accident won't happen today. For sure. Not now. Because we're still going to make. So we wipe the tire with a wet cloth so that we get the soil that is from the tire. And then when the car leaves, we take certain parts where the car was parked. Now we've got your tires. Right? Good. And then we're going to work on that soil. Definitely you're getting into a car accident. Wait, you know, growing up, they used to have that thing where uh, they're like, oh, you know, they're going to pick your foot. That is it. Your footprint. F there's something powerful about foot. Footprint. That is where you connect with the earth. That is where you connect with mother nature. So that is why sometimes you are always, even when you are going for initiation, mm -hmm. as a traditional healer, oh, you, you always go barefoot. <gasps> So there's this strong connection of the feet and Mother Nature and the ground. I remember there was a time when DJ Spoo mm -hmm. was oh, doing that where food, trees. hugging trees, yes. and, 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 and people were thinking he's crazy. He was connecting with Mother Nature. You know what happens with the tree now? With him walking barefoot, he's connecting with the nature, giving back to all. Oh, Connecting, yeah, that's the, the best way I can connect. So I can say it with. What, knew what he was actually talking yes, about. Yes, he, he was connecting. Nothing witchcraft or what. And he made so much fun of him. And he made so much sense to smart people. <laughs> so anyone that was making fun is not smart. Oh because they don't know. So now let me talk about the tree, Mahani. The tree, he was hugging it. Mm -hmm. That man is powerful because he knows what he was doing. Connecting. So if you cut the tree, right? And then, like, let's say you cut the tree, la, the, the remaining part of the tree, mm -hmm. like where you cut, mm -hmm. if you look at that, yes. the, the print that is left there, mm. it's a thumbnail. The, a tree is like this. Yes, it does have the, yes, that's true. 
<laughs> yeah, let me make an example. Mm. This is the tree. Mm. And then you cut it here. Yes, I know. Yes. It, 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 Go to it a tree mimics, that was cut off. It mimics a thumbprint. Good. Yes. So there's a lot of connection between us and nature. Yes. Exactly. So we take the soil. We go work on it. We take your feet. So I would always ask you if you've got an issue with somebody, and then I would ask you, how close are you with them? And then say, we're close, we live in the same area, or oh, I can what, what, what. Get me the shoe, the, 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 the footprint. And then how do we collect the footprint? You can't be taking soil like you're crazy. We ask you to take your towel wet. You know, most, if a towel is wet, if you throw it down, Definitely, you catch the, the, the soil, and then we want that, and then you bring that to my Dumba. So, but then, does that still work if the person's wearing shoes? Yes. That is why we say when you get to our Dumbas, take off your shoes. Because there's a lot go that goes on in the road. You will not go to Indumba with your shoes. You will not twas as a sangoma and go with your shoes. You know, I always walk barefoot. If you come to my house, you find me walking barefoot. People that always come to my house, they find me walking barefoot. Especially when I'm at home, I don't wear shoes. For reasons. So even when you're there in Ghana, you're barefoot? Barefoot. But the bushes, you don't get thaws? No, you do fall away your, your flip-flops when you are just walking around. Yeah. Yeah, you're careful of yourself. But in general, people must try to walk barefoot as much as they can. So that must take a teacher with me. No, you must just to, <laughs> just to connect She's with... She's saying we should walk barefoot so that it will make it easier for a client. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important. It is very important that people do so. You just need to connect with nature one now and then. But here, yeah, going back to that one accidents get created there's quite a lot of accidents going on but then i also want to know now name because now when you're saying this i, I mean i don't know where exactly in ghana you're going but i would assume it's in the bushes where it's like there's nature there there's mm. a lot of nature there's a lot of plants there's a lot of that what are the benefits of the same thing that i would say djs who was doing of hugging trees or walking barefoot like let's say maybe now we're not talking about the witchcraft part and we're talking about like the benefits that actually come with you connecting to nature Connect, you, you get the connection. You get the protection. From nature? Yeah. It, 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 it's some sort of a cleansing on its own. Okay. Yeah. Because I do remember the, the other day that I went the last time that I filmed, filmed with DJs, well, I'm so sorry to, do, um, to, to, to actually like <laughs> disclose this, but he was literally there with his daughter hugging the trees and he wasn't even on camera. So like it's, it's something that he definitely does without even like for the camera or whatever, like this is something that he does because he was with his daughter and they were hugging Yeah, him. and he's very much spiritual, that guy. I respect him. He's very spiritual and he's doing very good in his life. I'm not saying he uses herbs or he uses ubutagati. I don't know, I've never seen him. Mm -hmm. But his way of doing things, mm -hmm. hugging of tree, that's when I fell more in love with him. Walking barefoot, that's where I fell more in love with him. So he understands each and everything that is there has got a significance or everything symbolizes something. Mm. Exactly. No, I can't wait. So you must remember what is zonkizin that comes from the ground. Yes. They are very fruitful. Yeah. They are very healthy. Yeah. Like the fruits that we eat, they're from the soil. Yeah. So the fruits that we eat from the soil, they so there's a lot of organic what what. Mm. On down day. That's why when we, we even give you certain things, we say go bury them. Mm. Even when we give you certain things, go bury them. Go bury down in the floor. If you want people to come to your church. Exactly. To if you want to tie up a man, also there's a ritual we once spoke about yeah, that we give you a bottle, you go dig down. You? So it's a lot of understanding. I think the traditional healing world, if traditional healers, would be as educated to do researches and find out the world would be would be a, a better place because there's a lot of them but they don't know things i you know for me remember i think i've said this many times that i actually literally do differentiate you are a sangoma a person that only uses herbs is a traditional healer and let me tell you how i differentiate it okay. this way so for me if you dip into witchcraft you're a sangoma 
that's for me right remember this is me so mm. for me how i actually differentiate i differentiate traditional healers and sangomas a traditional healer is someone that only uses herbs to heal mm. they do not inflict pain they do not do the back to sender mm. they do not do anything that uh, chemically changes someone's mind love potions and stuff mm. like they don't do that mm. the only thing that they do is that let's say maybe you've got fibroids they know herbs Mm. that can be able to help you let's say you've got they an heal. uncurable headache mm. they know her- herbs mm. you understand and then a uh, samoma is someone that they know herbs right and they now use the knowledge that they have to manipulate okay okay <laughs> let me educate you my love mm-hmm. isangoma mm-hmm. it's a person that they they're more about ingoma they're more about singing mm-hmm. they're more about dancing so that is isangoma they are traditional healers okay so isangoma is a traditional healer yes because now they do traditional healing yes. so that they would say isangoma asitakati yes. so isangoma and a traditional healer you were not supposed to differentiate them it's one, so right? it's one and the same thing yes. so that is isangoma that would invoke dance yes. dance dance and that's it yes. loyo isangoma but you can only heal if you got enough training about traditional healing Yes. That's it's also one thing. Ugukita is another part. Yes. And then now there's Inyanga. Yes. 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 Inyanga now is a person that did go to training. Mm-hmm. But they also know umut is strong. Mm-hmm. Meaning they can also do the black magic of things. So, the twisting of everything. So that's yes. Inyanga and Isangoma. Those are two different things. So for me, you know how I... To be honest with you, if I could just... I was going to say, okay, so for me, there is Isangoma and a witch. Isangoma no mutakat. But I can't say that. Yes. Um, you get? Yes. So that's why I just try to say, okay, I'm going to differentiate in terms of... I'm going to say, okay, a traditional healer is someone that just heals. Do you get? Yes. And then he, 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 for me, and then I would um, say okay, Isangoma yes. is sort of like um takati. I really people. cannot say um takati when I I'll get arrested. Yeah. Do you understand what yes. I'm saying? So that's why. I mean, you can say to me. Um takati. Yes, you can say to me. I'm not even <laughs> gonna go that's open the case. I don't have time. You know, exactly. <laughs> I will just say chomi. That's me. And I feel happy when you call me that. So, but for me, do you understand? Like, for me, mm. it's just, I'm not saying that's how it is. It's just a way for me to differentiate. Yes, and then there is Ikeza. Ike. So now that's the third term. Okay. Ikeza is a person that knows medicine, mm-hmm. but is not trained. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with that. And, they can and there's nothing wrong with that. Yes. Those ones, Amakeza, they know Umut. They yeah. even dream of imiti they even get shown which mixtures they should use so akatwasanga and that, that there's nothing wrong with that so there would be this thing on social media it's not about utwas all the time it is no, not a topic that is a topic that we're gonna to have to talk to about another day as well to, to have like differentiations because for me what i believe is that as black people, we have literally, and I know like there are certain people that are like, put hey, everything oh, under one umbrella. You, yes. You oh, put you're everything not under one umbrella. No, 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 it's not even about that because one thing for sure, the same time that you were actually talking about how I go to like a pharmacy and I buy medication, that medication is made from plants. Exactly. And those same plants, there's someone that is out there that can traditionally heal you without having to do ubutakati. No. But we always uh, put everything in one umbrella. If you're someone that um, goes to maybe someone that uses herbs uh, and you drink those herbs, they're like, oh, you know, now when Anje, you're part of the witchcraft, which is very, very wrong and very, very Mm-mm. different. No, and also, Chomi, uh, now, the, the, I think the biggest confusion that people have, mm. everybody that does u- u- the healing or these traditional things, mm. they say isangom. And then now when they say isangoma, they expect everybody to go to Asa. Yes. And when that is, it, that is also one thing. There is a person that is not supposed to Twasa, but a makela, and they can heal more than us yes. that went to, tra- to, 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 to school. Mm. So it's not all the time about school. It's just that there's this pressure from those sangomas with no knowledge. When they would say they would go to social media and brag about who did it was, who did it was, who did who did it's, they do that sometimes they do. Sometimes it's it's you need to understand 
in which category does the person that you're talking about come from? So now, Ikeza, Isangoma, and Inyanga, those are three different things. And then Umtagat. And they were going to talk about all those different e ones in another. Exactly. So we need also to understand that. And then there's people, Abanes Tunua, where they can only see, like, you know, the one that the apostles that go mm. to church, but they've, they've got, they can prophesy. Yeah. So that is easy to, you know, those people, they can connect with the ancestors. So ancestors use them to send a message to certain people. So when we are sitting in the room and then someone starts, you know, get, getting into trance, mm -hmm. ancestors, their ancestors are now trying to connect to them or sending a message to them about a certain person maybe that is in the room do you think we sometimes maybe we 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 <clears throat> we think in the same way but in different ways at the same time in terms of the same way that you're saying that okay they can be sitting in a room and the person's ancestors they, they mm, the person mm. gets into a trance mm. and this person starts prophesying and, 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 and saying things that obviously they are not visible yeah. to the normal eye. Whereas with us, when I'm in church and uh, someone starts, you know, and prophesies, we say that's the Holy Spirit. And you guys just simply say that is the is ancestors. It true, yeah? mm. So it means Maybe it differs in terms of like where are you? Because if you're in church and you see things that are not seen by the naked eye, we say it's the Holy Spirit. Mm. Obviously, you're prophesying. And then if you are, if like, you're not in church, then it's it's wrong. If you're not, no, no, no. Ah, that's that's not, what they do, the Christians. No, I, I, but, and them in judging. No, no, no. I'm, I'm I'm saying that like obviously a prophet can be able to even prophesy from their home. They can prophesy anyway. Mm. The only difference is that if maybe let's say you are sitting or you are in the world of Ubungoma. Uh, or Wusangoma, then you start to see, then they say it's the ancestors. Yes, in our say? world. In okay. Your yeah. world. So that's basically what I'm saying to say, um, those are the differences, I think, in, in terms of like, okay, you being someone that is the Sangoma, if this person starts talking, you said, no, the ancestors are, are, are telling this person. Whereas in my world, when this person starts talking, it's Holy the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so, but that's okay. We need to respect that as well. That's what I'm saying to say, yeah. like, okay, it, it, it's I the guess Holy Spirit. it differs in that way in terms of where you are and which game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, but I also just wanted to say this because I think that is very, very important. And I think maybe this should have been one of the topics that we actually spoke about even from the beginning. Because obviously, as I said, this segment is mostly for ed it's it's for educational purposes, right? Mm. There is a man that is called Dr. Sebi. Have you ever heard of him? Uh, unfortunately, he passed away. That man could cure, cure HIV. Okay. Um, AIDS, mm. that man could cure cancer, that mm. man could, and all he used was herbs. He literally even has a book. Um, he was very famous. He's the one that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Nipsey Hussle, you know him? Oh, he's an American. Uh, he un unfortunately got. I'm know, not really much familiar with a lot of people. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and they said that he was about to come up with this documentary and stuff. Because you know, most how it is in terms of. Um, African herbs, when uh, uh, someone wants to help you with African herbs, they give you everything, all the nutrients, everything that is from nature. Mm, mm. Where else I feel like with pharmaceuticals, they will give you a bit of, because they want you to keep coming back. Mm. Things that have cure, that nature can cure, they know can cure, but they will not give you that because they want to make money out of mm. you. So if you are to come every month to collect your prescription, that's money for them. Whereas when it comes to the traditional way of healing, that if let's say maybe it's alu and they say alu heals this and that, they're not going to extract certain nutrients from the alu so that it works. Mm. Mm. They're going to give you the whole alu. Yeah. But the unfortunate, with, the unfortunate thing with us Africans is that we refuse to even look at the traditional healing way because mm -hmm. we have all of a sudden said anything traditional falls Blue. under the umbrella of witchcraft, which is wrong. It's right. I, I mean, you know what I, I say? It's right. People want to be left like that. People want to be left just, I'm at the era where I would say it's right to me, everything is right. Because we cannot be teaching adults every day that this is what is, this is what, this is what. It's a right for you to discriminate other people. But one day, you will come crawling to the very same people and say, I need help. Because I can see that my direction is not going well. 
Because now the funny part is also this. Tina, we don't discriminate other people, but other people can discriminate us. So you can come to me and get Alu. Alu helps a lot of things. So when you come to me for that, you're also mtakati. No, you are not. I think what that's what the, the part that I'm obviously also going to say is that the first of all, there's lack of knowledge, which I I'm not saying I'm knowledge, but I'm saying there's there's a certain aspect that I think I'm uh, mm. starting to realize. Yeah, there's lack well. of knowledge. There's lack of knowledge, right? And then again, this whole generalization. That's what I'm saying. I think this will definitely be an episode on its own, wherein we sit and we differentiate, guys, because there is that old man in your village that you would hear about. Oh, he, this man can cure this, this. This man will oh, oh, police at this, this. I remember there was even a, an old woman there by my village. Ah, that woman. No matter if you break your arm. Or uh, uh, your 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 leg your or hip. any bone in your body. Mm. I just won't say her name because mm. obviously I don't want to get into any trouble. Yeah. But every single person, if you're from the village of Gaba, you can comment her name. No, everyone knows her. I think she's late now. I'm not too sure. But if she's still alive, she's definitely very old. Every single person knew. If you break your bone, you go to that woman. Yeah. That woman was not a Sangoma. That woman didn't know any gates of Uktwasa or anything. Mm. But the moment she holds your hand like this and she knows, she used to like take She you. knows what to twist yes. when and when to do what. Do you understand? Exactly. Yes. So as you also went there, you said there's lack of knowledge mm. and the stupidity. Well, I mean, if you if you don't know anything... Do uh, no, there's, there's, uh, there's lack of knowledge and the stupidity. Some people are just stupid to... to you know what? There's a lot of things that I, I, I search when I go to your channel. Mm -hmm. You can see from a comment. Would you know this person does not like knowledge? They're stupid. Sorry. If someone, I'm really going to say that's me, I'm vocal. I stay in, uh, uh, you can require my address, I can give you, and then you can come and face me. me. I will be like this and I will tell you what I'm telling you now, and I'm not scared of anything. <laughs> Some comments, they would be like, um, if you are truly Christian, you shouldn't be sitting with a Sangoma. You, you know, I don't want us to discuss that. Mm -hmm. I just want you to know that that person who is discussing that, and I can see you answer them. Don't answer them, they're stupid, you end up being stupid. You're the smartest woman I've ever met. So sometimes I can see that you reply to them and you say, oh, this and this. Nana, they don't like knowledge, but they're stupid. Don't talk about something that you don't know. And don't go on social media and talk about bad about people that you don't know. Because we will look for your picture and we will find it and we will deal with you. So people need to withhold their negative comments about people. For me, because maybe I'm on the internet. A picture day. will I, do I, anything. I understand and I already exactly. know that, uh, uh, you know, for yes. me, I think like it's just part of business, you know. Someone will come and say something that's just not well informed. And I think for me, I always go about it in this way of, okay, if people are not well informed about it, because I'm also not as well informed. Though I know that they're different, they're, they're different, they're different people. And I'm only privileged to know that because I grew up in a village. Do you understand? Wherein, like, there was a lot of people that used to do a lot of different stuff. I know the, there's this old woman um, as well who, you know, that old woman, yo, you, uh, I've never gone there, but I know people that have gone there and they've gotten help. Um, who, you know, you go there and, you know, she sits down with you, she asks what is wrong, and then you say this. That woman will go literally to the bush and dig up something and come back and do this, do that, do that. She doesn't like use uh, anything. She passed away. She mm. passed away. But that old woman knew herbs so, 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 so much. And I think sometimes my heart hurts literal the fact that we as the younger generation, we don't really care to know about herbs unless if maybe you're going to the Sangoma world. And that's wrong. <clears throat> that is wrong for our generation and our kids because we are now going to be left with I'm a Christian, I don't go to Sangomas so if I can't come to you to say I'm consulting as a, a, a Sangoma and whatever because they say that goes against my belief and my Bible mm. there should be someone that I can go to that knows only about herbs but the person is not a Sangoma but remember there's also courses in the universities of South Africa or all over the world where you study herbs but let me tell you something I would never trust and I, I can tell you right now the education system is here to dwarf us. 
the education system, you can quote me anyway, is here to dwarf us up. They are never going to teach us something that will liberate us. Never. Just forget about it. That mm. is why certain subjects, now when I was in standard seven, I did a subject called technology. Guys. What happens to, sorry, mm. what happens to people when you bury them down mm -hmm. and then they pass, when they passed away mm -hmm. and then you put them down in the coffin mm -hmm. and then what happens to those people? The bones? They cook, they, what happens there? Um, they decompose. And then what happens? Um, they become fossils. And the fruits that we eat are from where? They're from the ground. And those people are from the ground. Which people? When the people when they pass away, mm -hmm. we bury them on the ground. Mm -hmm. So now, a person that was buried 50 years ago, mm -hmm. I'm sure there's nothing down there anymore. Mm -hmm. It's now soil. Mm -hmm. That person is now part of. But remember, get like that one ha happens with, especially like the olden people, uh, because they would be buried like in fields and stuff, and there were no such things as tombstones and stuff. You know, the question is, mm. what happens to that body? No, what happens to that person now? They we go are back stung to and the soil. Isn't they it? go back to the soil and yes. they become the soil and they yes. become one thing. Yes. So now I'm trying to say that is why it is very important for you to walk barefoot. Then you're connecting with everything that's from down. Because now the fruits that we eat, they're from the soil. Mm. So why that's a story from another day. Why eating dead people, Joe? That's a story for another day. <laughs> I'm, not <laughs> I'm not saying we're eating dead people. <laughs> Why but I'm saying, so see, you, you, you pass away, mm -hmm. we dig, mm. we bury you, mm. you don't come back out. But, but the seed, well. the seed mm. it gets buried, yeah. it puma with the fruit, whatever, whatever. Yeah, but, I, but it's from down. I'm saying, like, for now, it's that thing of, yes, you go back to the soil, but it's no longer the same as back then. Because remember, now we have tombstones, and we have actually have... It doesn't um, matter. Tombstones are up. I'm talking yes. about bottom. Yes, but what I'm saying is that I need to now we have got, like, graveyards. So? Wherein, um, we don't have any plants there, because of now they do tombstones and stuff. Are you sure that the soil stays there, in the same place? What happens when it rains, and then the water goes down? It's a movement. There's a lot of movement oh, under there. There's a lot of movement here. Yeah, but people but will stop eating. Okay, I let's... think what is just comfortable for us to know our loved ones are just there. Okay, good. Thank you so much. <laughs> there's a lot that happens <laughs> underground. <laughs> but I mean, this, I mean, this, 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 this episode was supposed to be about something, but then it ended up not being, and I still enjoyed it. But it, 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 it was very, yes. One, two, three, people got to understand yeah. the different types of Ubungoma, yeah. and that they're not, Which so we will have a topic uh, one day. Deeper into it. So what I actually want from you guys is that, please go to the comment section and ask any question that you have, because I know I've got a lot of questions when it comes to this, like, you know, uh, the, 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 the Sangoma, the witchcraft, the, the witch, the, 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 the person that is, you said, what is the name of that? Ikeza. Ikeza. Someone that didn't trust her, but they know, and they can even see herbs that actually uh, help with this and that and that, but they did not trust her. And I'm going to have master class of witchcraft. Yes. I do know. I'm having a master class of witchcraft. What do you mean? I'm going to be teaching people how to do. Witchcraft? Mm. Like, who are those people? Some of us? No. And no more person. Yeah. Just to train you how to, to perform certain rituals. Is that not dangerous? No, what's, not, what's dangerous? Because these people do not have the spirit of... Open. We will install. I'm just training them. Not for them to be sangomas, not for them to be anything, but so that they can be able to do it whenever they want to. Not when having to go to Coco Manzini to... Like I told you about the ritual of a car accident. Like I told you about the ritual of someone that annoys you when they sit next to you. Like I told you about a lot. So I'm just going to have a master class of five or three rituals that I'm going to be teaching people. But I'm not going to, to talk about that on this platform. But I will talk about that on my own platforms. I'm definitely going to have a master class of witchcraft. I guess I'm... Isis. That is what I'm going to be doing. This one of the, in the line for this year, and as well, um, Asila Lynch. We're not playing. I'm going to teach people witchcraft. Witchcraft, most you don't have to trust for it. 
I'm sure we trusted for Ubungo, maybe to and Ubunyanga and things like that. But then now also, as I explained that, there's things that you go around learning and learning and learning and learning and learning. But so there's things that you can perform. So you can be a podcaster without going to a podcasting school. Okay. You can. Uh, but now, cook. I think we're like, do you see, I feel like this is one of the reasons why there are certain people that are very much like, they will generalize everything. It's up to them. That's why I'm always saying me, if it includes me, mm. if it includes me, generalize and do whatever you say. I don't care. As long as you're not in my bank statement, Mina, I don't care. <laughs> Generalize me. Put me wherever you want to put me. Label me the way you want to label me. If it, if it brings food to the table for your kids to eat, do it. Mina, I don't campaign. It's like they would say you need to have, uh, like, maybe about being homosexual. Mm. So they would say uh, we need to have campaigns and talk to people to like us, people to accept us, people to... I do not do those things. Even if you don't accept me, it's fine. You don't take me to Diamond Walk. Mina, I'm all about money, sweetie. I'm all about money because I know that in this world, it's just borrowed times. So if I'm going to spend up all my life thinking about what people think of me, when am I going to get time to make money? Mina, generalize as much as you want. But people, they just want to confuse themselves with things that has got nothing to do with them. Go to a Sangoma and one helps for money. That's it. Upu make it. And stop being broke. Stop calling us names. <laughs> make money. Stop being on other people's channels to diss them. Stop <laughs> it. Wow, guys. I don't even know what to lie. But anyway, obviously, you guys know I've told you guys that it's going to be much manzini. Um, and the whole of March, we're going to be having episodes every Tuesday and every Friday. If you do want to contact Gogo Manzini, I'm going to make sure that there's a banner that is actually here. I'm sure it was also there at the beginning of the video. Don't mm. come to my DMs. Please, please don't put it Instagram again. Ne? You know. Just put my YouTube channel and oh, my phone number okay. at Dr. Coco Manzini TV okay. and 072 448 1474. Okay. Yeah, don't put Instagram, Instagram again. Yeah, say young boy. Because there's a lot of every day. I can't. For free. For free. But anyway, just obviously, I do hope that you guys did learn something here. Uh, yeah, from Womini Shibazoru and of course Gogoman Zini. We didn't have a topic on this one, we were just talking. Yeah, we were just we need talking. To talk. people, sometimes, people sometimes need to sit and just listen uh, yeah. and just enjoy. We just talk. You know, and I know that some people are just laughing, oh, Gogo, this, this Gogo talks, this Gogo that, this Gogo this, this Gogo that. But if you have to talk your, your mind, you have to be yourself. You know, you can't accommodate people all the time. You understand? <laughs> no, you can't. Because, like, it's, it's not disrespect. Mm -hmm. There is a stupid person. Oh, true that. Yes. And you know what? Someone is looking at me now and they think I'm stupid. Oh, true. So I'm stupid in their minds. And, and so it's okay. But always remember, there will always be people that know more than you. It's and to them, me. they're like, you are stupid. People you know? are... And then there are people that are like stupid to everyone. They're people are entitled to their own opinions. If I call you stupid, I'm not dissing you. If you call me stupid, you're not dissing me. If you look at me like a stupid... Then I'm a stupid to you. <laughs> and if, you, if I look at you and then I see a stupid, and then you are a stupid to me. So okay. It, it is okay. So like someone would, like it's, this is like this, show me. When someone walks into our segments mm. and they say something, mm. that's why I say don't answer them. That's how they feel. That is their stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> you understand me? Yeah. Yes. I, I, stay in sec I stay in secunda. If someone has a problem with me, secunda mall, you can wait for me. I'm almost there for breakfast and lunch and what, 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 what. I will deal with them. Hi, you guys. And now I won't tell you. I love you. Don't come to me. I love you. I won't deal with you. My God will deal with you for me. Yeah, I love you. But anyway, I love you guys. Stay blessed. And of course, we'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.